What's up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech and today what we're going to talk about is the top five multi-platform applications which are going to run on your mobile devices as well as your PC and tablets. Now these phone, or these phone apps as well as apps for your desktop are what I consider my favorite multiple platform apps that I find a lot of use out of. Now, for all you hardcore tech fans out there, you probably already know about these, but this is just for anybody who doesn't really know how to kind of like cross-platform their things. And in this video, I'm going to do a different setup than I usually do. I usually, you know, you show a product or something, but we're just going to do some screen scrolling and capturing and just showing you each one of these services that I think that you should use that I personally use on my own time. So the first one is Push Bullet. Push Bullet is basically a... Like they do with the Apple Sync, they this syncs all of your messages up between devices. So you can put your phone down and you can see messages on your desktop as well as your tablet instead of um, using multiple devices when you're working all at once. So it's a very productive app. And as I'm scrolling down, you could see it's available on every single pretty much operating system of popular mainstream operating system available. You can send text messages, see your notifications, and you know you could read this stuff for yourself. I'm gonna leave all these links down in the description. The second one is a productivity multi-platform app, and that's going to be Evernote. Evernote is basically a digital brain for me. It's like I put all my notes on Evernote, and they do have Basic Plus and Premium, but trust me, there's a lot of space on Basic unless you're like a really heavy note taker, then you might want to go for the Plus plan. But Basic will provide most of your needs. And I really use Evernote because I can pretty much write anything anywhere, and anywhere I go back online, I will be able to access it, whether it's from my desktop, my tablet, my PC, or my phone. So basically, Evernote is a great, great multi-platform app, probably one of the top ones in the entire app ecosystem, period. Number three, now this is more in, aligned with my love for nutrition and eating healthy and stuff, and this is called Yummy. It lets you organize and... Um, it gives you like recipes and things like such for your specific diet plan. So basically, however you love to eat, whether it's junk food or good food, they're going to have all kinds of good recipes on here. And most of them are homemade, but like if you're a vegan, a vegetarian, or a meat eater, though, we'll have plans for you to cook some great recipes at home. And this is a really good app that I really recommend you guys checking out. And it is multi-platform. They have it on Windows Phone, iOS, Android, and desktop. So it's all good to go. Third one is Kindle. Now, everybody knows about Kindle. It's on every single operating system. But for me, it's just great because you can sync your pages wherever you're reading. And they'll be on multiple um, platforms such as the uh, iPhone, the Android phone, the Windows phone, the tablet, the desktop cloud reader. It's pretty much on every single device. So you can keep your e-reading wherever you go. And the final one I want to talk about is Dropbox. Dropbox is basically the iCloud for everyone. It's on every single platform. You do not have to worry about switching over from iOS and not having iCloud because you went over to an Android phone and vice versa. Now I know that there is other cloud um, storage apps such as Google Drive, but that's not available on Windows Phone because of Microsoft and Google's dispute. So I just wanted to keep all these apps that I use on a daily basis in a very every ecosystem kind of format. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it. That's my top five multi-platform apps. I am going to leave all five of these links in the description so you can check them out for yourself, maybe download them. And they should link right to the Play Store or the Android Market or have little links where you could just go download them anyway right from the click of your mobile device. And if you're clicking from a PC, this will send you to the desktop sites of them. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up down below and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.